Hogwarts grounds. Yeah, so what should I comment about? What should I comment about? Why am I singing in the Zelda song? Anyways, uh, Herbology. Okay, and there's a chest over here, I believe. Number 14. Fool but the Fearful. What was he fearful about? <clears throat> Famous for being so cowardly, he never ventured out of his house. Died when a defensive charm backfired and the roof fell in. Famous for being a coward? That's kind of mean. Anyways, I believe the uh, potion skit is inside Herbology somewhere. Now, we will have a, a little uh, mission to actually come here for a spell book, but we won't. But that's later tonight. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna get more Birdie Box 7 Flare of Beans. Because I will be needing it. If I collect at least 50, then that'll be enough for one wizard card in the Birdie Box Bean Bag. Yeah, so going inside some of these houses are kind of useless. I'm not sure if there's really a point of going in any of these houses, but yeah. Underpants, grapefruits. Okay, we don't need any wig and well potion. Now the potions get big. Okay, so we can't. Okay, so we can't do anything with those enemies at the moment, because uh, we actually have to go to the library to actually find find out how to defeat those things. And I'm not sure if you can really see, but there's a spell book right there, which we'll actually get at the night time, which I believe is the next night time. Now I'm pretty sure some of you are like. This relates nothing to the Chamber of Secrets. Well, I kind of agree that it doesn't, but most of the quests at nighttime does. Mostly the nighttime quests do relate to the the movie and the book. So, yeah. And right here we get Neville. Gnome dunking, gnome tossing, exit. Now, I'm gonna be very honest. The gnome tossing is the reason, or reasoning, reason why I probably won't be 100% in the game. Hello, Harry. Like to throw some gnomes and beat the record? It'll cost 10 beans. Oh, wait, I have to decline to get out of here. Why don't you have a go at beating the current gnome throwing record, Harry? It'll cost 10 beans. Yeah, so it costs beans and it costs more later. And we have to keep on throwing them to get a wizard card and stuff. It's very annoying. Although you all apparently learned to fly last year, the apparently is directed at you, Mr. Longbottom, a brief refresher course is in order. Potter, let's see if you still have that natural flying ability. First of all, I want to test your broom control. Fly up and hover a few feet from the ground. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure the controls are okay for my fitting. Okay, so down is up. Wait, 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 what the heck? Both ways are up. Now, fly back down to the ground and hover above it. Oh wait, okay, um, it's kinda backwards here. I need to reverse it. Wait, flying control, reverse. Okay, so down is up. Um, up is down, so yeah. I find it easier that way. And it's so difficult because they kind of changed that on the uh, the Ocarina of Time 3D. While Ocarina of Time, uh, it's, it's, you know, reverted like that. 
But yeah, so as we can see here, we can change it, it in options. Excellent. You seem to have lost none of your natural flying ability. Let's move on to something a little more difficult. You see before you a course comprised of enchanted rings. What you must do is to fly through as many of these rings as possible in the correct order. Are you ready, Potter? Begin. Yeah. So this is pretty fun, I guess. This is pretty much what we have to do to collect to get the snitch. Right. Now for the examination, where a grade will be awarded depending on how well you complete the course. You must fly through as many rings as you can in a set time. I've created several new enchantments for the rings, causing some to move and others to shrink as you approach them. When you're ready, Mr. Potter, you may begin. All right, so this is the real challenge. Depending on how we good, how good we do, then we get a grade level. If we get the highest grade level, I think it's like a distinction or something like that. I think that's the highest grade level above A or something. Whoa, that's moving, shrinking. Yeah, so if we get a distinction, then we do not have to do this again. And our reward will be able to fly around Hogwarts, which is pretty cool. Considering that we can really explore this area for free in the uh, Philosopher's Stone game. Or the Sorcerer's Stone, as they call it. Yeah, I missed it. Crap. Ah, oh, goddammit, I'm failing already. Truly excellent. You receive an A+. Plus. If you want to try and improve your flying grade, come back and see me here at any time of the day. That was exhausting, Harry. I'm off to bed. See you later. Okay, so I didn't get a distinction. So I got an A+. Plus. Wonder if I can do that again. Ah, oh, Mr. Potter. Let's get started. I'm just going to do it again just to get a distinction. If I... If I right. fail, now for if the I fail, then I'll cut this out. A grade will be awarded depending on how well you complete the course. Well done. That effort deserves an A. If you want to try and improve your flying grade, come back and see me here at any time of the day. Okay, unfortunately I failed again. Uh, you know, I'm just going to say screw it and get the broom later. Actually, I'm going to do some gnome tossing, if I can even talk to him. Or not gnome tossing, gnome dunking. What sucks is that we can only come here at one time. If we walk out into the distance, then we all go back to, to Hogwarts. Number 18, Uruk the Oddball. Medieval dates unknown. Yeah, so that's all we really needed to come here for, I believe. I think these gnomes will never end, so I'm just going to throw this one in and then leave this place. That was awesome. Yeah, so there's nothing more that I can do here. So if I just walk off, then this will be my last time ever coming here. Yeah, so as you see, Gnome Dunking is no longer available. So now we have the Gnome Tossing, which is going to be very annoying, and racing on broomsticks with other students. All I can say is, screw it. Let's just end this day. Gryffindor. 80 points. Not bad. Hufflepuff. 68. Ravenclaw. 
75. Slytherin. Ooh, 84, so Slytherin's ahead of us by 4. Now, Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw is less of our worries, because Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw never win. So, it's either Gryffindor or Slytherin. Now, unfortunately, I have, or fortunately, I have never seen what happens if you let Slytherin win, so I'm not sure what really happens. I might do a recording of it later just to show what happens if Slytherin wins, because I'm pretty sure no one's really shown what happens if Slytherin wins. Harry, just the person I've been looking for. Something dreadful has happened to Neville. He's got himself trapped behind a tapestry. And I suppose you want me to get him out. Would you? That's so kind of you, Harry. He's out here. Wait, is this the first time we've seen Hermione? Come to think of it, yeah, that's the first time we've seen Hermione. Yeah, so now we have to look for this Gryffindor merit badge. So, wandering around the grand staircase, if found, please return to this notice board. Okay, so wandering around the grand staircase, this shield could be anywhere. So we gain house points. Number 45. Dunbar Oglethorpe. And a wizard card. Uh, nothing special about him. Neville? How did you end up back there? <coughs> he was looking for Trevor, his toad, and he went the wrong way. Now he's stuck. Well, can't you get him out, Hermione? No, I've tried everything. We need a severing charm. And where am I going to find one of those at this time of night? Herbology Greenhouse 3 in the grounds. Except, to get in, you're going to have to find out how to pull up hawk lumps. If you go to the library, there's an excellent book by Professor Lockhart. That'll tell you how to do it. OK, so I've got to go into the library on the second floor and get a copy of Lockhart's book, and then go out into the grounds and find my way into the Herbology Greenhouse to get the severing charm. Yes. <laughs> What did he say? Hurry up. Mm. Okay, okay, this is very lame because this is just a curtain. Can't Neville just push through himself through? Seriously? Apparently Neville's so damn lazy and Hermione's so damn stupid. And plus, shouldn't she know a severing charm? Flibbity gibbet. Flibbity gibbet. So I'm just gonna go get the uh, Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans pack. How much is this Birdie Bots bean bag? Twenty Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans. I'd like to buy that, please. You can now carry more Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans, Harry. Yep. So now we can carry up to a hundred, which we need for the spell book and anything else that we need in here. Take a look around, Potter. I forget if there's much in these uh, toilet stalls. Just gonna look around. Okay, I don't think there is anything in these stalls. Except a secret wall there. Now, unless, of course, something appears later here, I do not know. Yeah, so we found a little secret right here. But where does this secret lead us? There's absolutely nothing. And where does it lead us? A lame excuse for a shortcut. So, that's kind of pointless, really.